Super Mario Maker is one of those games of endless possibility. Nintendo, for the first time ever, opened the sandbox for all players to create Super Mario levels in 2015, when the game dropped on Wii U to celebrate the 30th anniversary of gaming's biggest icon. There are a lot of people out there who formed a love for developing games and especially level design starting with Super Mario Maker. I am one of those people. I have over 200 hours on the game and over 300 on its 2019 Switch sequel. It's what first got me into making games and I will love it forever. However, in March 2021, the downfall began as Nintendo switched off the ability to upload new levels, leaving the final count at around 68 million million user-created levels on Nintendo's servers. Then, in October 2023, Nintendo announced that online play for Wii U and 3DS would be shut off entirely in April 2024, making it impossible to play any levels uploaded to Super Mario Maker or its 2016 3DS port. Uh, oh, wait, you, you couldn't upload to the 3DS version? So... What was the point? This is obviously inevitable for an always online product for which content support ended years ago, but it's still sad to see. But thankfully, this doesn't mean that these levels would be getting completely left behind. In fact, if you've ever uploaded a level to Super Mario Maker, there is a 100% guarantee that it's been played at least once. And that is thanks to Team 0%. In September 2017, a thread was posted on Reddit containing a spreadsheet documenting every single level in the game with zero clears, which came to about 150,000 levels. When other users discovered this, they formed a small community of just a dozen people, slowly chipping away at the list. Now, seven years later, this has exploded into over 3,000 people completing levels, several with over 1,000 documented level clears each. These are dedicated, hardcore Mario Maker fans, ensuring that no Mario is left behind. They've probably even played a couple of my levels of questionable quality from back in the day. A lot of these levels were simply too obscure or boring to have been completed by other players beforehand, but many of them were also simply too tough. In fact, the footage you're seeing right now is from Team 0%, completing some of the most challenging Mario levels ever created. It's like Kaizo on steroids, but it is humanly possible. Nintendo cleverly set it so that you must clear your own level before uploading it to the game servers, otherwise you can imagine the amount of levels where you just spawn in with 15 Bowsers right on top of you. Team 0% isn't only dedicated to Wii U Mario shenanigans, as with the launch of Super Mario Maker 2 in June 2019, much of the team switched focus to playing that instead. This naturally slowed progress on the first game, but Nintendo's announcement of extermination date in 2023 inspired them to get back to work, and fast. This chart on their tracking website shows just how much the clear spiked right after that announcement. The road ahead was long and the battle hard. There were some truly insane deranged levels that Team 0% have had to clear to complete their objective. Like, come on man, what is this? But you'd best believe not one Goomba was left unstomped. Not one flagpole going home without being slid down first. Some of the most talented Mario players in the world were on this. Of course, that came back to bite them when they had to face their own levels, but hey, they had to beat them once before to upload them, right? I have personally been following the project for a few months now, watching the daily status updates as the project is whittled away at and the deadline looms. When March 2024 rolled around with one month to go, only a few levels stood in the way. A few very, very challenging levels. On March 13th, with 26 days to go, five levels remained. Trimming the Herbs, a Japanese level that I frankly do not know the name of, Last Nope, Phantom Odd World, and The Last Dance. Last Nope was the first to go. Later that day, completed by Fritzef, who had contributed many levels in the recent weeks. The next day, Phantom Oddworld was beaten by Yamada, who followed this clear up just one day later by beating The Last Dance. Like I said, these are the best Mario players in the world. Like, I'd like to think I'm pretty good at Mario, but these guys are a whole other level. Get it? With that Japanese level also completed, this left one last run, trimming the herbs. 
uploaded by user Ahoyo coincidentally just days before Team 0% first began their mission in 2017, trimming the herbs is quote, designed to be unreasonably difficult and cause a ruckus. And it certainly did, as drama ignited in the final weeks over if this was really a legitimate level. Now at this point, everyone's interested. IGN's writing articles, huge content creators are posting about it, and everyone's eyes are firmly on trimming the herbs. Finally, on March 22nd, Ahoyo came out and admitted the truth. It was a fraud, uploaded from a hacked Wii U. The story is actually quite interesting. Ahoyo's statement goes as follows. Someone had messaged me about a Taz they were working on for the Wii U. In a video they sent, it seemed to me like they had it working but they told me they were abandoning the project. The task was replicated by my friend after two days of building. Because I had already resigned to leave streaming and pursue other things, and suddenly I had a working tool assisted speedrun, I thought that the bomb guy should go out with a bang, so trimming the herbs was constructed. The Pog Jam contest was made because I wanted there to be a venue for Kaiser enthusiasts to gather. The judges were doing a live viewing of the contest levels, and I let them know that I intentionally broke the rules, and that after showcasing trimming the herbs, they should disqualify me. Trimming the herbs was made be unreasonably difficult and to cause a ruckus. I put effort into promoting it in 2017 so that it could be played, dissected, and scrutinized. Once that would happen, I would announce that a tall assisted speedrun existed for Super Mario Maker. I did not expect that it would go unnoticed or be perceived as easy from watching the video, or that it would take nearly seven years to be uncovered. The sunk cost fallacy of wanting to follow through with the failed troll, combined with new IRL responsibilities, allowed the nonsense to continue. I knew about Team 0%, so I let things be until they would uncover it. The past week, when the time bomb finally blew up, things escalated quickly and the community was divided, which was not my intention. I'm sorry for the drama caused within the community and I regret the ordeal, but at least it was interesting. However, in the end, the truth matters most. Congratulations to Team 0% for their well-earned achievement. Super Mario Maker is cleared, and the last dance was the last level. Isn't that just so perfect? The final cleared level in Super Mario Maker is called the last dance? Well, second to last. This is Team 0%, not Team 0.00001%. They were here for the challenge. Over the final weeks, the team grinded away at this one level with over 300,000 attempts being made. I even dusted off my old Wii U and I gave it a shot. And on April 6th, just two days to spare, trimming the herbs was officially cleared by Sanix in this legendary run. And so, Super Mario Maker is cleared forever on Wii U, just in time before the servers shut off forever. It's worth noting that in the early days, Nintendo would delete levels that no one played from the servers, so some of those early 2015 to 2016 levels technically can't be beaten and as such may have never been beaten, but as far as I'm concerned, if they're not in the game now, they don't count towards the goal. Super Mario Maker is an excellent game, and this whole saga has been a beautiful series of events with a massive team banding together to aim for one huge objective. Of course, the platforming continues into Super Mario Maker 2 for who knows how many years to come, as there won't be any sign of those servers going offline or even level uploading being cut off for a long time yet. Nintendo's very own Tahashi Tezuka, who has worked on Super Mario since the very beginning in 1985, was told about the project at GDC and called it pretty cool, even reportedly planning on telling the Mario Maker development team all about it. I for one will absolutely be helping out in Super Mario Mario Maker 2. In fact, I actually made my own game in Super Mario Maker 2 titled Super Mario Fracture, released in 2021. All the levels have been played at least once, so it won't be on Team 0%'s radar, but hey, if it's now on your radar, check it out. The Wii U has always been Nintendo's black sheep. The console that no one really except me and Scott the Woz actually likes, but this has been a really fitting, lovely send off for a console that I hold dear. Super Mario Maker and its sequel will always hold special places in my heart, and Team 0% have my unlimited respect. Now, the worst thing is that the server shutting down is also killing my baby Nintendo Badge Arcade! Oh, Nintendo, why I order?